going. And uh, I'm very proud of, of our team. Our, our band has been spectacular. They were loud. We had a lot of fans here. Uh, half of Corpus Christi, I believe, is in this building. So we're very excited about that and um, very much looking forward to our men's game tonight. Our guys got an opportunity to, to uh, really go make something happen. So that's uh, uh, very proud of my team. Brandon, go ahead. Brandon Williams, Southland.org. Uh, Coach, perhaps one of the big differences in the game was that uh, their backcourt held your backcourt to uh, 5 of 15 shooting. Uh, what was it uh, that they did that uh, kept your backcourt from being able to find a rhythm like they had had previously? Well, I think they play the best defense in the league. I think they're very physical. They bump you off of screens, and you have to take that hit and keep going. And uh, they do a really good job of rotating. They do a good job of talking. Uh, they are, um, you know, we've had games where we didn't shoot the ball well more than one time. So, you know, we're, we've tried to overcome those with our defense. And uh, I thought UCA's defense, they did a really good job of locking down our, our inside game as well. I thought, you know, they, they kept us out of the paint. They uh, did a good job of contesting every shot. They just played great defense from top to bottom. And I think that's Sandra Rushing that makes that happen. Quentin Martinez, Caller Times. Uh, what was the message to the team? You guys started so fast yesterday, and you guys get, you're down 13 to nothing uh, right out of the gate here. So, so what do you do to, to kind of gather the team and get them to regroup to make the charge that they were able to? Well, we told them there. You know, it's, to win a championship, it's not about the perfection that you have. It's about your response to the bad things that come your way. It's your response when things aren't going your direction and how you bounce back. And honestly, that was the margin. You know, the first five minutes of the game was the margin that they finished with for the most part. I thought we bounced back all night long. I thought it's, it's a character uh, check, and, and they responded, but they kept bouncing back. And, um, you know, we, we just told them, you're going to bounce back. You know, you're, you're going to come back. We're, we're going to simplify the offense. We're going to make the defense the uh, uh, pressure defense that we've been playing. And I thought we did a pretty good job defensively, but offensively we just didn't have it tonight. Coach, uh, Houston Media Source, John Thompson, but not of Georgetown. Second half, you, uh, you uh, actually came out with a lot of fire. What was your con conversation in the second half, if I can ask? Well, the same deal. I mean, we, we've tried to keep it simple. I, I, I told them uh, three words. I said, ready, set, and go. And y'all go play. I mean, we have good players. Sometimes we shoot a shot, and they're such good people that when they shoot a shot and miss it, they think, oh, I've let everyone down, and I don't want to let everyone down, and I don't want to, I don't want to hurt my team, so I can't shoot it anymore. And that's that's uh, that's not the way we want them to play. We want them to play with resiliency. And you miss the first one, boy, you're a 42% shooter. That means the next one's bound to go in. And that's how we we tried to make them think. But uh, that was our message at halftime. Let's go play. You know, we're we're going to change up our defense a little bit more. We're you know we may run our half court trap a little bit. We may play some zone. And I thought we went to the zone. We executed it pretty well. You know, we kept them from scoring there for a while, but we couldn't get any field goals. And that was UCA's defense was relentless. Quentin Martinez, Caller Times. Uh, for any of the seniors that want to answer this, you know, you guys have been kind of working towards piecing it together all year long. You played 30 minutes or 35 minutes, but to hit your stride down the stretch, win three games to end the regular season, make it to the semifinals, you know, what was that like to kind of put it together right at the right time for you guys? Um, I think for us all season long, um, you know, we went on a seven game losing streak. I think for us, we knew we had it in us to step our defense up. And so I feel like we came together and started really, you know, getting loose, stepping up our defense, letting our offense come to us toward the perfect time, toward the end of the season, you know, in Katy. And it was amazing to see how everyone came together as a family toward the end and really just hit that stride. So we're really proud of how far our team has come. A uh, question for you, Cassie. Uh, it took a little while for you to get into a rhythm uh, offensively. You found your uh, stride eight points in the third quarter. Uh, what adjustments were you able to make in order to uh, get your range back? Um, I just kept shooting. Everyone on my team t kept telling me to keep shooting, even when you're missing. And so I just had to shoot it with confidence, and that's what I did. What was it that they were able to do uh, from a, uh, a player's vantage point? What was what was it? What they what was 
what were they able to do? I'll get it out. What were they able to do to uh, get uh, to keep you guys from being able to find a stride offensively? Um, I think they were very aggressive on defense. They were guarding me uh, full court, so I had to work a little harder to get the ball and get the offense going. So I think their defense is where it, where it got us. Coach, uh, this is your senior class. You know, you certainly have left the foundation uh, for you and the program uh, going ahead. Uh, what can you say about this group? Well, I believe anytime you take over something, you want to leave it better than you found it. And they can all feel very comfortable that they are leaving it better than they found it. I think someone told me they've, they've done 20 something records or things that they've accomplished while they've been there. Um, so they left it better. Uh, they'll always be a part of the family. Uh, I, I promise you, I know these people, and this time next year, I'll be getting text messages saying, hey, read this to the team, because I want them to, to go and do this. They'll always be a part of, of uh, the Islander tradition. And, um, you know, I think the whole thing is they've, they've done what they came here to do. And, and not only are they great athletes, they're great students. You know, they've, we've already got diplomas up here. We're all graduating. They are good people. They have been in community service. They are, they're, they're just, they've grown up and become the representatives of a university that you want. They will go and accomplish great things because they came to our university on an athletic scholarship and now they're gonna go do some great things and they'll always be Islanders. Let's go have one more question before we let these guys go. Okay. Ladies, uh, any final thoughts on your experiences uh, being a member of the Islanders family? It was fun. I really enjoyed playing with Texas A&M Corpus Christi. I love the atmosphere in Corpus, and I love all my teammates and my coaching staff. Well, first I want to thank God for the opportunity to play here at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. I want to thank Coach Chadwick and everyone. It's been an amazing five years, and I have no regrets, and that's something I'm extremely thankful and proud of. Um, I just want to thank the coaches for believing in us and giving us a chance to be able to change this program and, you know, um, let us show what we have and what we can do and um, just being with us and um, helping us grow every day. And it was really fun and our teammates and just fighting for us and with us this whole year.